I have a ton of discs, but let's face it, most of them are, well, they're just garbage and never get used. Well, we're going to change all that. We're building a total garbage bin. Hi, this is David Salee, and extensive research has gone into the development of this, well, garbage bag. Now, while it would be easy to just select a random mold that nobody likes and just have that fill the entire bag, instead, we went with some special rules. Had to have one putter. Had to have two mid-range. Two fairway and two distance drivers. They could be the same mold, but they couldn't be exact duplicates with their attributes. Here's what we wound up uh, putting together. This is Garbage Bag version 2.0, and a lot of the discs are going to be understable with a few minor exceptions, but we're going to start out with the putter being the Sticky Heavy Keystone, uh, Fade Light Fuse, which for the most part is a contradictory disc and so it's pretty strange to use. The light extra turn fuse, which is super understable, as is the turn light river, and the light roll river, and then we throw a couple of distance drivers in there that are super understable as well with the turn roll havoc and a turn glide havoc. So our goal today is to try and reach the elite level on the daily open. So let's uh, see what happens with these garbage discs and see how they do. This was far and away the most challenging garbage experience that I have faced thus far. It took at least four, almost five hours of trying to grind this out just to try and get the elite score. And I tell you, it reminded me a lot of the old days where there was a grind to try and get in first place because it was worth something and nowadays you know you just need to get the elite level and you're good but oh my goodness this was so so tough but looking at the elite score we just need minus 10 so we gotta basically birdie everything with one eagle and with that in mind we can go ahead and take a look at what challenges are facing us now we're gonna start out with grizzly and that wind mixed with this bag that you're looking at is really challenging so you know i got to take that extra turn light river and the problem is that normally you know first hole you'd be going for the ace but because i don't have any accurate discs the likelihood of getting that ace is pretty remote so i just have to hope for the best to get the birdies i uh, got that down there 59 feet not too bad and starting to get used to throwing in with the keystone a little bit getting a lot of practice with it there were so many restarts this particular line on cave to cave i used the roll havoc in order to try and stop it from going too far it took several tries to figure out this particular line the roll havoc itself uh, was you know kind of too powerful for the hole so i was lucky to kind of hit into the rocks and get the birdie on it um, Hole three, uh, thankfully this one's fairly routine, but I did like switching to backhand and going with that river shot and giving it just a little bit of ante because it's gonna just take off and go to the right. There, All these discs are just so understable. But as long as it kind of lands in the clear like it did and had 53 feet left, um, like I said, I'm getting some good practice with the keystone. So it just flies straight. It's a pretty decent disc. I, you know, I'm, I have nothing against the keystone. This is the hole that just is a nightmare. Um, using the turn glide, trying to slide the, uh, you know, aim over and give it as much, you know, as I can. But look at that, it just goes absolutely straight. And then it's gonna wind up in this kind of collection area. 
and I'm lucky at this point to even have a view of the basket. 115, that's actually pretty decent for me with the way that things have been going, but just threw it a little too high, you know, and I really wanted that birdie to make things a little easier, but that's just the way it goes, you know, get the comebacker for par. Uh, I do know that there are a couple of eagle opportunities, but now I'm faced with hafting to do it. And this was challenging as well to try and thread this needle by switching to backhand because of the understability, but got so lucky pinballing off of those rocks. And then check out this roll parked on that rock. That was so fortunate as well to only have 58 feet left. Because, you know, it's like, okay, have that kind of opportunity. You just got to cash that in. You know, uh, take advantage of those chances when you can. Here we are with the Coyote Hole 5, and just had to throw that turn glide havoc and get as much out of it as I could. Uh, you can see that was a pretty straight back pull. Just missed that column. Get a good bounce. Get a good kind of fade. And get close. So 79 feet was uh, probably the closest I had gotten on any of my runs and so therefore I was able to just clear the guard make it in thankfully it didn't skip off and I got my first eagle this one turned out to be pretty routine uh, put the havoc down on that aim pull uh, with a little bit of ante just let it go and that roll is gonna get all grippy so it's not gonna slide up and go OB and hung out with just 33 so at this point when I got that eagle I was actually feeling pretty good uh, I felt that the other two holes weren't too bad, so just use that fade light fuse and just throw it. But unfortunately, I lined up on the tree too much and just nailed it, as you can see. And then, hey, how about some roll? Why not? And it rolled and got a lot further away than I would like, especially with the three win. So I had to lower it a little bit, throw, and made it look pretty routine. I was uh, pretty nervous on that one, though. And last hole, thankfully, again, it was just using a, the fade light fuse, kind of keeping it a little low. I just want to keep it somewhere close and give myself a chance with a throw in. And you can see that the fuse is making the distance no problem. Uh, the rock was kind of handy, so another 63 footer headwind, so lowered it just a little bit and threw it a little pro side, but it managed to stay in. So got the 19, the minus 10 with two eagles. So that par didn't wind up uh, hurting me too much. And oh, I tell you, so many restarts. It was just so challenging. But it felt kind of good to be able to go ahead and collect the challenge in the pro and collect that elite and get my points for the day. And there you go. That is what the daily looked like with the garbage bags, not for the faint of heart. I don't recommend trying it, but if you ever feel you need an absolute challenge, I'd say throw these discs in, give it a go, and see what happens. So until next time, I will catch you later.